its inconveniences. Lang was satisfied with life in the high rise. What have you got there? A kaleidoscope. What can you see through that thing? The future. Hi there, my name is Seal Beckett, the rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring that little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. Uh, and uh, it is Friday once again, Friday, the beginning of the weekend, where we enter the rabbi from another planet's video vault. As you remember, if you came last week, there was a bit of consternation about what movie we, we would see. And this was a uh, a uh, was it? A, a third replacement. So uh, there was so much uh, uh, buzz about it in the pre-chat and the pre-game. I had to start the stream because one of our panel had just had to had to review it. He couldn't res resist it anymore. So the, uh, this is uh, this has generated some interest. Uh, be before we get into that, can I ask you guys to, to hit that subscribe button? That'll be fan dabby double dozy. If you subscribe, you can enter my weekly competitions. And this week, the prize we're giving away on the Tardis Zone on the 9th, on uh, August the 9th, where we're doing a watch along of the Impossible Planet, is this fantastic Judge Dread graphic novel. And I I, uh, I do say fantastic Judge Dread, Judge Dread graphic novel, because it is. It's, uh, it's America. It's uh, it, I would say it's a seminal Judge Dread story. This was the initial story, I believe, they used to launch Judge Dredd magazine in the 90s. It, artwork by, by Colin McNeil. You know, I think this is everything that is great about, about Judge Dredd is in this volume. And it's got, got quite quite a beefy a lot in it. All you got all you got to do to win it is subscribe to the channel. Subscribe. And then in the uh, comments, leave the hashtag uh, democracy now. Democracy now. And, uh, yeah, what is democracy without people? People were... Uh, uh, democracy and fascism strangely similar they both need people to band together and work and work in you so i'm going to bring on my guest tonight uh i'm going to bring on somebody who was very dedicated and they were waiting in the chat for a whole hour a whole hour before we started uh and then and then i brought him on last before just now so now i'm bringing him on first may I introduce you the one the only no 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 from the tardis zone good evening no how are you I'm good. I'm good. I'm actually very well, except for uh, I've probably wasted two hours of my life. No, 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 wait, 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 we're not going to review yet. Oh, no, 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 I'm not going to say Anne. I'm just going to oh, say. Hold, hold it in. Hold it in. There we go. By the way, all I just want to say to you is we should have listened to you last week. Yeah, you should. You know, the, the, this is uh, this is what my, my overwhelming uh, opinion is. Yeah, so you can all, I think everybody should always listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Don't worry, right. I, I I have a treat that everyone's going to enjoy for next week. I have a treat that, oh, time, that none of you have ever seen before, but oh, okay. all of you think you have, um, and oh, you all you all are absolutely going to love it. I think. Anyway, so the next person, next person we're going to bring on the panel uh, uh, is he? He's uh, he's a state. He has achieved a state of being, a state of oneness, a state of wholeness, uh, a state of being. But in that state of being. He's found it a bit problematic. He, is, he could be problematic, especially when he goes on Twitter. Here's, of course, the problem being. Good evening. How are you, problem being? Hello. I'm very well. I got tweeted. Uh, I got my one of my tweets tweeted by John Cleese today, so I'm ecstatic. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Three Three minutes in, right? dropped already. Man. Already, yeah. <laughs> I'm breaking my own record. <laughs> <laughs> that was great yeah, man i see in your tweet man i say you are chuffed i am chuffed. Oh, actually, I, I i will look it out uh so ne next on the panel what would a panel of uh, of movie geeks be without a mega geek yeah not just a regular geek we need a mega geek this <laughs> mm -hmm. mega geek has to be any uh especially talented mega geek head over to rebeccagold.com where uh you will find many things to watch basically this is spy chicks. I think that's basically the main thing you do. Uh, Big <laughs> how are you? Is everything okay. spy chicks? It's, but I just realised I can boil, boil it down. That's your genre. Not really. Not no. really. Well, no, I mean, Killing Zone had a had a had a guy in it, didn't he? He was the lead. So um... I, I, maybe I just noticed the chicks. I, I don't well, know. Of course. <laughs> That's <laughs> what you've just noticed. <laughs> What's that other the, the show you just put out? Not the Killing Zone. You, I always say Killing Zone. Oh, um... Ice Angels is a trailer for a show I'm trying to get off the ground called Ice Angels. Elvin, which is like a Spy show. Girls. Spy there you Girls. go. That's why yeah. I thought so. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 Mega Geek, I have to tell you, you may be a Mega Geek, but you're not royalty, mate. You're not royalty. Exactly, and, exactly. And, and, and to, uh, uh, to, to analyze this movie properly, 
uh, we, we need royalty. And so I have found a geek royalty, a, a very specific geek royalty. It is Birmingham's King of the Geeks. Uh, Dan <laughs> Hatton from the Facebook, Type 40 Podcast. How are you, Dan? How, how good evening? No. <laughs> da, 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 da. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, <laughs> subjects. How are we all? Thanks for that fantastic introduction. I'm glad I got a killer introduction because I haven't got a story anywhere near as good as Problem Beings there with John Cleese. Well, I sort of have. John Cleese. I was retweeted this week by... It's not as big a deal as John Cleese, but to me, it kind of is, because I've got a major crush on this girl, Anjali Mahindra from the Sarah Jane Adventures and Doctor Who and Bodyguard. See, I liked her until I saw her in Doctor Who, and I thought, oh, God. <laughs> yeah, she did look her best. Didn't they to be some cells for, for pennies? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So I was running. I was a little high off that yesterday. Yeah, just a little heart. Yes, yeah, so and it came up on my phone. Well, I was fantastic anti-Larry. in the uh, Russell T Davis thing they did. Uh, the the she the lockdown. She she was the best thing in that. Yeah, and they yeah, they, exactly. yeah, they, they, they they did that very well. So okay, let's let's get get into the movie High Rise. Uh, yeah, mm. this was a bit of a a late connection. So let let me just give you my my encapsulated thoughts of this. This is going to be. This is not so much of a movie, more of an experience. And, and uh, um, I come to the conclusion. I, I've seen this experience many times, uh, twice in this week. So I can come to. It. I've just finished watching it, and uh, my 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 opinion is this: this experience is a lot better if you are super high. If you are super super, I'm not saying you have to be. But if you are, it's really great. If you're not, it's like uh, I would say, I want to look at it like a movie. I, will, as a I wouldn't want to be on acid watching this. I have. To oh, say. but I would not like to be on acid watching this. <laughs> or it, it's a traditional movie. This is more a a like a very like you look at it like a piece of art. You go to a uh, like a museum. You look at it like I can say like I went to to Paris and I was sad by by the. You know, uh, uh, the Renoirs, yeah, the GP, and you stay and you stare at them. If you guys, by the way, I really recommend wherever you are, go to a museum because looking at art is really is actually much cooler than you think, and you you it, it, you never see it as well as when you see it in, in real because the reproductions are never that that good. Um, but but it, it, this, that, that, yeah, that was my feeling. It's more of a it. What most movies are meant to take you on on a, an emotive journey. This does not take you on an emotive journey at all. It tells you where it's going right at the beginning, and then it, and it takes you there. And then when you get there at the end, you get, all right, this is exactly what they told me they were going to do. <laughs> and yeah. and I, I don't think I've got anything to complain about. And honestly, I, 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 for me, I found it an interesting experience. I can understand this one not being for everyone. So let, let's just do a quick round robin of, of what everybody is. By the way, to review, do you know when I go through the plot of movies to review it? I, I, I don't know how to do it on this one. I'm going to have to have the plot of <laughs> somewhere. I'll turn the sound off. I can off. do it. I can do it. Well, but I can do it to the halfway mark, and then it's just a stream <laughs> of consciousness. And, like, and then, the, you know, and like, oh, God, then there's an orgy, and then, and then, oh, and there's more sex. And like, oh, my God. <laughs> but then again, in the opening moments, in the opening moments, it did kind of tell you quite clearly when you know, he's eating a dog <laughs> in, in this devastation. They didn't like dogs then, in this film. Yeah, it, yeah, it, it, you know, this is why I think I, I, I was, I, I was supposed to give it to um, uh, uh, Starry Eyed Girl to join us on the panel. I think <laughs> that's probably why I didn't. Um, but uh, yeah, no, if it, it's, it's, if it was very so. I again, I just found it stream of content. But you've seen again, a lot so, worse than this, haven't you, Sarah? You've seen a lot worse than this. <laughs> oh yeah. So anyway, let's go. No, no. What's your yeah. best review? Well, you kind of compared it to art, so this is how I'll make a comparison. So you have Van Gogh, right, who did, you know, just say Clockwork Orange is the Van Gogh of these kind of dystopian movies. And then you've got this modern kind of artist that's breaking through. And it's not really that good. You know, there's a lot, of, there's a lot, there's a lot to take it. Look at this movie is just absolutely ridiculous. Um, the first hour is boring. The second hour, it, it just goes in. Listen, there's there's raping, there's murdering, there's you name it. There's there's everything going on. Some woman walks into a room, and the first thing that she says is, "Who wants to f me in the ass?" I oh, was that, like, was, that was a rather interesting scene, I thought. Right, I was like, <laughs> what? There was just weird stuff going on. Listen, I love me clockwork oranges. I love Bronson. 
I love movies like that. Try oh, awesome. this, this, this movie failed hard. Um, to be honest, I think it was more of a vanity project by the director and the writer. To be honest with you, I don't know how they managed to get Tom Hiddleston and even what's his face. Uh, Jeremy Irons. Who? Jeremy Irons. Yeah. I don't know how they got those two because the rest of them. I, I kind of know because some of them have been in TV. Oh, no, so. had a fantastic cast. I mean, well, that cast was freaking incredible. I don't, I don't think that cast was that great, to be honest with you. I thought they're all actors and actresses that haven't really made it. You know, they've done the... Oh, no, I, I, I love Luke Evans. I like Elizabeth Moss. I like James Palfrey. I like Keely Halls. Uh, I like Cena Miller. Yeah, I like... the. I really like all... I like, uh, was it, Reese Shearsmith. You know, I, I just, I, I had even had Bill Patterson in it from Baron Munchausen. I it yeah, had a lot of people that I liked, you know, like a lot of people. Yeah, but the problem was, the problem was the director in the two hour movie tried to give them all as much screen time as he could. And the, the movie just, it just descended into chaos. Like there was oh, just absolutely. Loads of hundred percent. Yeah. I mean, look, I've seen, I've, I have seen worse movies, but this, this is. Uh, look, I even read um, after I watched it, I went in to see what kind of reception it got and all, and you know, it didn't even, it didn't even uh, what you call it, make its budget back. It was that bad. You, yeah, you, uh, you, and basically, your 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 review of it is not uncommon. <laughs> it's, it's not uncommon at all. I would say. <laughs> A good thirty percent of reviews, pretty yeah. much exactly. It, it, was, yeah. it was just one of those movies that I was like, you know, like what's got like what's going on? I kind of knew what the concept. What I'm, I'm like, but why? Right, the building's falling apart. I get that. Right, there's a bit of a uh, the residents are starting to get a bit restless, but then they just it just descends into chaos, and I'm like, it's it's, it's, oh, it's, a, it's a, it basically what it's doing. It, it's it's showing how easily a society can descend into chaos. That 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 was a class like, like on, on, the, on the ground up. That that yeah, that's so what it wanted to do. But it makes yeah, no sense. Uh, I agree with you. It makes no sense. Out. I but I guess I was like, yeah, whatever you want to do. I, I I was just in it for the ride, and that ride was freaking mental. If you're high, <laughs> if you're not high, it's very <laughs> interesting. <laughs> Yeah, the one in the classroom is just the like You have the same house on the top, and then you had the residents then on the lower end, and then stuff starts happening then. And then you see the supermarket, but it's very clever because then you see the supermarket, and then you see some of the produce starting to rot. Right, right. Well, no, wait, 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 wait till we get into the movie. Let's we're just right, 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 okay, right, right. But my, 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 my take on this movie is it's it's, it's one of the worst movies I've seen. It's a thumbs down there from no. I think uh, uh, unqualified thumbs down. Problem being, bro, what, 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 yeah. what's your thought, the old mucker? Um, I, well, I think well, JG Ballard is quite a seminal writer so i mean it's quite interesting to see something that's supposedly unfilmable come to 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 fruition it's up there with this kind of uh orwells and the huxley's of his of his day uh, of those days so he's more like a sort of updated political writer um i kind of liked it <laughs> <laughs> me too I, I, yeah, it makes. I mean, it was bonkers. It was bon yeah, it's I bonkers. Yeah, bonkers. I mean, the ride. I was like, I mean, oh, it's all it's all written in allegory. It's all written in allegory. Um, yeah. So I think once you kind of take it for what it is, you can roll with it. Um, and right. Because exactly, as you said, exactly. from the start, yeah. you 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 know what you're getting. You're gonna get. And I mean, the, the building that itself. Opening, that opening basically told you what the movie is. And you're like, yeah. okay, well, that, and then what you thought? Well, that's interesting. <laughs> it's all about social social climbing. Uh, right. The building represents the body politic. Um, right. So you've got all these these floors, and you've got all the the corridors, which are the arteries, as it's it, it explained in the film, which um, feeds down from the top. Uh, so you've got the underclass, you've got the middle class, you've got the royal class. Literally, royal is the architect. Yeah, yeah the they're, they're, they're a little on the nose, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it is. But it's interesting that the the sort of jobs they do, they're sort of scientific, medical, architectural, um, lawyers, 
rather than sort of actual royalty and, and such. But they, they sort of have a, and it's it's quite it's kind of um, throughout. It's it's peppered with a lot of references to France and the, the French Revolution. So you've got a lot of that sort oh, of going yeah, on. Yeah. Sort of let them eat cake kind of thing, you know. Um, him picking up a French book and how to learn French, and then you've got the underclasses learning French and stuff like that and working things out. Um, yeah, it's um, it's an odd bugger. Uh, I think the ending is let, is let down, but we'll get to that. I think that that was a bit far too on the nose. Um, but yeah, the descent into into chaos uh, is is uh, quite uh, quite an odd thing, and it it kind of does take you out of it somewhat because it is so so crazy, uh, especially the scenes in the supermarket. And yeah. this yeah, 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 yeah. insanity here with uh, someone who's in the middle class who tried to make it to the top, but uh, I don't know. He's, he's, he comes across as very unlikable. He's very sort of sociopathic. Yeah, that, or yeah, psych yeah, psychopathic. That, that, I, think, I think the only way we can do is we'll, we'll get to the. We haven't gone to the first half, which kind of has a plot, and the second half, yeah. which does. Let, 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 well, let's but we get, a, we get a naked. We get a naked Hillston, so that's not bad. Oh, you, okay. Oh, yeah, you do get a point. <laughs> And honestly, I mean, I, if, I I don't think there are many actors who, if there's any, just about any other actor in the role, I was like, I would not have liked this movie as yeah, much. Yeah, he, he, he did carry it. I mean, even though it was unlikable and very un yeah, unrelatable. Yeah, he was held it together. Yeah, he, 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 I mean, was, I like, he was. I like Luke Evans kind of a is. lot. I think he was great as uh, whatever. But I think this was, he was really the glue that held it together. Fine, let's move forward then before. Uh, uh, Mega Geek, Mega Geek, what, what are your thoughts? <laughs> my thoughts my thoughts is this film should never have been made and um one of the reasons why one of the reasons why i say that is because this is the thing that i've been so annoyed about the british film industry as growing up as a filmmaker right uh british films always put art before entertainment which really annoys me uh, yeah, okay. when you look at when you look at Spielberg's films, you look at the very famous directors, you know, yeah. make crap load of money at the box office. They always put entertainment, then they add art to it. But British filmmakers seem to think that art is all about making movies, and it's not. Look how many companies produced this film. BFI, Lottery Money, RCP, Hanway Films, and on top, on top of that, we had Ben Wheatley directing, and I don't like Ben Wheatley. He just he just makes stuff that's so real that it's pointless. I might as well go outside my council building and watch people walk around and kill each other, because that's he, where I live. You know, I, so, I never saw his, like, I haven't seen many of his things. That He had one that's really controversial, like a field in England. Have you ever seen it? That's, I don't the, thing look, that's look, the thing with Reece Shearsmith in, isn't it? I've seen only a like two of his films and that was enough for me right this film should never have been made this is lottery money this is our money right british film industry do, do not make films for people that go to the cinema this is this is a I, I, listen, I, look, listen, I speak as somebody who liked this movie i can't disagree with you at this all is an example. No, I, I, I do actually agree i do actually agree it's, as well it, it, it's it's quite elitist i think exactly this is but an then, example of why the british it. film industry doesn't work <laughs> This is the example. Why why the British film industry doesn't work is because the British film industry don't make films for people. They don't yeah. make films. They make it from themselves. Yeah, right. This film was just a prime example of that waste of money, waste of talent. Uh, yeah, you know, saying that, I put this on the screen. I, I, I listen. This is uh, <laughs> that's <laughs> talent. <laughs> 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 listen, I digress. So carry on. <laughs> yeah, let's listen. That's my again, thought. Somebody who enjoy who actually like this movie as things as a worthwhile experience. I can't disagree with you at all. Well, I, I, I think I think the only sort of valid point that you could use to argue against that point is that JG Ballard is an important writer, and yeah, to but that put his work on to, into film, yeah, but to do that gives opens up a new audience potentially. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. If that wait, was the case, not, not, if that was the case, case, we'll be making money hand over fist in our but industry, whether or not we it do succeeds, not. We do whether not. not. Whether or not it succeeds is a whole other matter. So that's No, why it I'm... should never have been made. This is, look, this is what pisses me off about my film industry, this British film industry. They don't make films that we want to go and see. Exactly. Right? And they don't hire people with talent. They hire people 
who's middle class, upper class, the whole thing is closed off and people like us can't get into it. Sorry to I, I go agree. bang off on one, no, but this is the way it is. And this <laughs> film is a prime example of it. And I hate this film. I hate it with a passion. This yeah, film is okay. shit. There you go. I, I, listen, listen, I, 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 I can't defend it that well, way. Me and me and don't yeah. normally agree on stuff when we do these type of things, but I'm a hundred percent. No, okay. 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 So, uh, you look at the British for how I mean, I would think making me a happy man. It's it's like he's right. They put art before the actual, you know, telling a good story. Like there is the few exceptions of the rule, as I said, Bronson. You know, yeah. uh, even uh, what was that film back in the oh, day? Oh, oh, movie that they did. That oh, uh, what you call it? The one with fucking um, what's that British actor's name again? Uh, I don't know. There's loads uh, of them. Michael Caine. <laughs> Michael Caine. The Harry. What was it? Harry Brown. Harry Brown. Harry Brown. Yeah, yeah, that was a fucking great British movie. See, that that's the type of movies. It, they need to be entertained. This movie, there was nothing entertaining about this fucking movie. See, no, I, see, I disagree with you there. I was thoroughly entertained. I was, yeah, really, I was you're thoroughly entertained. Loki's on the screen, so you're happy. No, no, no. no. <laughs> I, was, I, 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 no, I found it mesmerizing. I find the whole. I um, found it mesmerizing. I'm drawing. I did. It Listen, I'm saying I can't disagree with you. It's, it's not, it's, this is not a a, a populist movie in any way. I, I can't disagree with that. But I was that thoroughly entertained. I I was. Wait, wait, we we still we still got one more voice to go to get get a general overview. Uh, uh, Dan, Dan, what 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 are your feelings? Uh, about? Sorry to be the one who repeats this, but Ian's absolutely right. This was absolutely appalling, unintelligible. <laughs> nonsense one of the worst films i've sat through in a very wow. very long time okay. and the reason and the reason why and the reason why ian my friend the mega geek there reacts in the way he does is because he's a director he's a storyteller and and that's the great shame of this a, a, a good director if he's he's got the source material from which wherever they get it from it could be from any any one of a number of places in this case in this case obviously it's a novel that was written in the early to mid 70s i think something i've heard about right. over the years fire. Over and over and over again. Uh, your problem being is quite right. It had this big reputation as, as several things did as being potentially unfilmable. So for somebody to, Red sort of, to, to a ball to reach, <laughs> yeah, exactly. So to reach into this and a, a, a director, just as as Ian's a director, to to think, okay, I I see the story in this. I know how to translate this from the experience of reading it into an experience of going to, to see to the cinema, asking people to pay money for it, and to effectively live it for two hours. They take on that responsibility of delivering the story. They, they choose who they're going to aim it at and deliver the story, unwrap the whole chain of events. And Ian's quite right. When he chose his audience, he did seem to just think, oh, just blokes like me or just me. It, the audience is one guy. It feels like a massive cheese dream. Can, can, can you blame him for it? Because they, he got the money. <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, that's the problem, and, that, and therein and therein lies the problem. Just as Ian said, with the, with the it did take him forty-five the, years to get it. The made. fact that people can can get can get people to sort of slap them on the back and and deliver them deliver them the kind of money they they're going to need to make a film film like this to, to attract talent. In you know, because there is some great talent on screen. Tom Hiddleston acts his heart out. You can he see him. He, he's yeah. elbow. He's elbows possibly armpits deep. In the material, in the texture, of it, trying to feel his way through it, giving it his all, and he still can't do it. He still can't make this. He still can't make up the shortfall for the audience the way he could with something like The Night Manager, where he gave pretty much the same performance. That works because whoever was looking at John Le Carre's original novel there knew they had to make some sort of compromise for not just, not for an audience, not to talk down to an audience, but just to accept the fact that the two mediums are completely different. And this story, and the biggest shame of this, is the fact that there is this isn't a case of, uh, of that it always had more style over substance. There's an enormous substance here. There's a great story worth telling, a story that still resonates today, and that has a great message. It could have worked. Ben uh, Wheatley yeah, completely, yeah. completely misses it. Have you uh, read the book? Because I haven't. Has no, anybody no, read no, the book? no. No, I've, I've read other I, 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 Whenever they say something that's unfilmable, 
I always assume it's got no real plot to it. So I, I, again, <laughs> this is just what I thought the book would be like. I, I honestly don't know. I just assumed the book, book would be, would be like. Well, they said they said it about Lord of the Rings for years. Now. Sorry. This is this is um this is the the example of the British film industry. It's up its own ass. It's basically. <laughs> Um, pretentious nonsense. That's what yep. it is. It is all whole... suffer from pretentious. Exactly. Right? It's pretentious, okay, yeah, right? Well, and and this, let me, I just like to say, I just like to say, right? I just like to say, right? Right. This is the reason why the industry, the British film industry, doesn't make any money because you've got idiots like this that all takes right. our money, the lottery money, to make this freaking film, which is nobody wants to see and nobody went to see. The only people that like this film is critics. That's the only people. I liked Me, it. You. I enjoyed it. Oh, it bollocks, mate. Come on. No, I really did. <laughs> I really did. I had nothing against it. I was entertained. But again, it's much better high. I'm just, I, I listen. I just call it as I say it, mate. Listen, I, I, I was, I was genuinely entertained. I thought, I thought it was kind of like this. I mean, when it got to, okay, I got about. We're at the halfway point, and there's no plot anymore, right? The plot is gone. That's Just it. things are happening, and nothing's really connected and makes sense. I found right? the first twenty minutes quite engaging, and then it just completely lost me. Completely, well, it completely lost everything and everybody. It lost its shape. It didn't care about it, anyone. It didn't give a shit. No. Yeah. No, 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 I, I, but again, that that. that that's, really that's really pretty much like humanity is yeah, today. Like, <laughs> really I thought, you, see, I, you see, for me, I was looking at it like uh, 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 this is a um, a ground level view of the of a you know society falling apart, and even this is okay. And I I like the I like the music, I like the vibe, I like the action. I was entertained. It didn't yeah, matter. To it, me it, that it, it wasn't matter. a film, though. It wasn't a film. It wasn't. A, they weren't uh, thinking about I, what I'm the audience. A hundred percent. My introduction. I said this is this is an experience more than this it's is not, not even a, an experience. It's a, it's a car crash of a film. It's, it's the kind right. of film you carry on watching to see just how bad it's going. It's going to get. It doesn't, get, better. It it doesn't, get. It doesn't put it together <laughs> in the final reel. No, Let's be clear. No. Once it hits that direction. It yeah. starts going there. Okay, like, okay. So my my thoughts when I got to halfway point, I was like, "This is this is like just a bizarre mix of content." And I saw there's an hour to go, so I was like, <laughs> "I was, I was like, at, So at that point, at that point, I was like saying, "Well, I guess I'm just gonna sit back, lay back, and see what they was like." It, nothing. I just I just accepted it. Like nothing's gonna make sense, but I'm just gonna <laughs> see. What what the journey is, and oh, like, this, this story journey. should, this it, sure this story could have and should have made perfect sense. I hate to say this, but Stephen exactly. Wyatt told this story better in Paradise Towers in 1987 on Doctor Who. That is better. That that's is better than this. Paradise that makes, Towers is terrible. That no, makes exactly prison. exactly oh and that. God. Although that, the story, the, the, yeah, you're right. You're right. The it tells the know. story in a more satisfying way. If you're trying to transfer a film that's unfilmable to become a movie, right, you literally have to go out of your way to try and change it, change the story, but make it the same, if you know what I mean. Right, because a classic, yeah, say. so if you look at if you look at Jaws, Jaws, Jaws is a, a pretty simple example, right? If you read the novel and you see the film, it's completely different. Spielberg knew he couldn't film that novel. Right. So, but but Ben Wheatley, in all his wisdom, thought they should shoot the novel. Okay, so, so, which so, is so, stupid. So what, right? I, yeah, I, I, I have an idea. This is an, this is an interesting thing. I have an idea. I'm looking at the Wikipedia of the novel right now. I'm going to read you the plot of from Wikipedia of the novel. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good, I, good I, I have no idea. I never read it. So let's let's just see what it says. So it starts off. Following his divorce, doctor and medical school lecturer Robert Lang uh, moves to his new apartment on the 25th floor of the recently completed high-rise building on the outskirts of London. This tower block provides its affluent tenants. All the conveniences and commodities that the modern life has to offer, supermarket, bank, restaurant, hair salon, swimming pool, and gymnasium, its own school, and high-speed lifts. Uh, high-speed high lifts. Elevators. I'm going to say elevators. It's easier. Uh, its cutting-edge amenities allow the occupants to gradually become uninterested in the world outside, providing them with accommodations and secure environment. Okay. That's a pretty good plot point they missed out. <laughs> that that story right there. Okay, uh, 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 you're winning me over. Uh, although I'm watching it, uh, Lang meets his fellow tenant, uh, his fellow tenant Charlotte Melville, 
a secretary who lives on the floor above him, and Richard Wilder, a documentary filmmaker who lives with his family on the building's lower floors. Uh, life in the high rise begins to de 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 uh, degenerate quickly, a minor pound failure and petty grievances amongst the neighbors uh, uh, and between the rival floors escalate into an audio of violence. Uh, in, uh, audience of violence. Oh, sorry, Fine, no, but it's a period. So, um, what, so that bit they, but you know what? They, they this, this, this synopsis tells us how it broke down. It mm. should have been okay, fine. So it's, it was a silly way it broke down, but at least there's a way, right? It, 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 the, the movie doesn't, doesn't really explain why they go crazy. It just says yeah. power's it's going weird. Reality. It's reality, it's reality, reality, isn't it? Oh, yeah, but doesn't explain why everybody go, goes crazy. This actually, I can see having mm. a plot. Okay, fine. So yeah, I'm halfway through. Skirmish has become fre frequent throughout the building as whole floors of tenants try to claim uh, uh, lifts and, and, and hold them for their own. Groups gather to defend their rights to the swimming pools, and party go and party goes attack uh, attack enemy floors to ra uh, raid and vandalize them. The lower, middle, and upper floors of the building uh, gradually. Uh, stratify uh, stratify in, into distinct groups. Fine. Uh, that, two, two thirds of the way through. Uh, it does not take long for the occupants to ignore the social restraints abandoning the life outside the building. And okay, so what this building, this has a, the, I said the movie has a vibe of the book, but just not the plot, which is weird, isn't it? Now the movie. Yeah. Weird, which to me. Okay, yeah. abandoning them and then dividing their lives to uh, the escalating violence. People, uh, people quit their jobs. Yeah, okay, they, now they're explaining it. Now I'm reading this, I'm going, oh, well, that's interesting. It all makes sense. Uh, uh, people quit their jobs and families stay indoors uh, permanently. Yeah, because none of this makes sense in the movie. Lo uh, losing, all, uh, losing all sense of time. As the amenities of the high rise break down and the, and the bo uh, bodies begin to pile up, pile up. no uh, no one can leave leaving, uh, leaving or alerting the, the, the authorities, instead exploring the newly found urges and desires Engendering the buildings, uh, the uh, uh, dis di disintegration. As Lang navigates the new social environment, the new environment, uh, Wilder sets out to reach floor forty at the top of the building, and finally, uh, finally confront the architect, Anthony Royal. Damn, that sounds like a damn better story than we saw. Okay, okay. <laughs> wow. So okay, so okay, so it, it says it speaks of a story that has rising stakes. Yeah, the, the, okay, so and, and allegiances. And a real sort of human interest. So, yeah. okay, just so people so getting I, shit faced. Yeah, so in the yeah, so, so in in I, I would say to to review this movie. Then, if you really like the book and know it well, <laughs> you might like this. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if you're Ben Wheatley, if you're Ben Wheatley, if you're Ben. Although, again, I kind of enjoyed it. I have to tell you, that yeah. story was so much better than this. But I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> well, I think the performances. I mean, it, if it didn't have the cast that it had, I don't think it would have been carried off anywhere at all. Um, yeah, like I, think I really like, like Evans' performance. It, like, I really like. I thought that was good. I, I thought, uh, I thought Jeremy Irons was good. I, I like Kitty Hall. The whole thing where she's like comes up from the the supermarket and then wants everybody to, to, to hump her in the arse. Like, what, what I like. And I didn't understand why or what, but I just can't. It just it was the to... decadence of the of the upper the upper floors. Yeah, you know, well, they were they were so what removed the, from their own what about, the, what about the scene where Lang is having that pregnant mother over the yeah, just, I know, I know. just totally? <laughs> it just, yeah, yeah. It really it just yeah. happens. What the fuck? I mean, what are, what, what's with <laughs> Jeremy Irons? I don't know what the fuck moment. <laughs> like once every four minutes. I was like, what? What? Oh, See, that's interesting. No. Now you're talking me back into it. What are you See, doing? Some of the acting, some of the acting guys. I, I thought Luke Evans was was pretty amazing in this, considering what he what he'd been given. He gave he gave it his all. He was better than Tom Hiddleston was. I thought Luke Evans was. Oh, the Richard Wilder character was brilliant. I, it really I think was. He represented the 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 absolute angst and the working class and the and the truth because he was a filmmaker and he wanted to show what was going on. He wanted to get to the truth. Um, and I, but I think if, if the film had lost. spent more time with that character under mm. his skin a bit more, or brought the parallels good. earlier, I yeah. think if they just did the damn plot of this book, that book was good. <laughs> like, what yeah, the hell? One is this, this sort of I parallel just, movement of the two characters. I like the generation. I thought that was cool. But what I have I, to mention, guys. I have to mention. One going up, the other going down. You know. Yeah, that's yeah. Cool. yeah. 
I have to mention one actor in particular. <laughs> the absurd performance of James Purefoy in this. He looked like he'd oh, walked in from a, he looked like he'd walked in from another film altogether. Didn't know what the hell he was doing, where he was going, what he was talking about. The man looked bewildered by it all. I thought that was hilarious. Was, I, James Purefoy is an actor I've always liked in things. But in this, right. good God, he had my deepest sympathies. Absolutely appalling. <laughs> I remember listening to Mark Commode um, a long time ago, reviewing this film, saying how he's a he's a fan of Ben and, you know, oh, this is a brilliant so film original. and, you know, and da, 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 whatever. And and you know what? I had no intention of seeing it because I knew what kind of film it was. And now Rabbi shoved it in my face and I've watched it. <laughs> and now I think it's just absolutely. Oh, I agree. Mean, really, really, well, I beg you, I'm never going to I'm never gonna forgive Rabbi for this one. <laughs> <laughs> It's not that. Listen, what was it? Did there it? Was a few points to put right when you're doing a movie. Where if it's been, if you're going to do a movie based on a book, you know you have to make certain. Uh, you have to make certain sacrifices. I'm sorry. You know uh, you can't if. A book like this, especially, um, you're not going to be able to do it justice. So I'm within, you know, this movie shouldn't have been made in the first place because a book like this, if you're not going to be able to do it justice, you shouldn't make it. It's as simple as that. It doesn't matter who you get in the movie. You can get a bunch of days in the car, then it's still not going to work like it. But, yeah, but the thing I can't get my head around is that the synopsis I just read sounded really good. That it sounded like the movie to me. I mean, that's what I got make from that it. Good. They could have made that movie the same, basically the same experience I just had, and use that plot, and you would have. That got... plot is no different than what we got in the movie. I mean, I, I completely picked up on every single point you made from the the book synopsis. That was definitely translated into the film, from what I can see. I think where it I fails, I, can't. I, I think can't. where it fails oh. is that the the direction of it wasn't clear. Um, yeah, I mean, I had to like, really, like, really, like, really think into thing, it. The whole thing about how everybody like descended into insanity. That, there that was, was a morass. Like, there was a morass in the middle of the film, and it yeah, continued it to be a morass. I understand, but it wasn't like in that synopsis. That little synopsis I just read, which I'm sure is much less than the book. Right? It, it goes back to what Dan was saying about <laughs> the character of, of Wilder. Idea. It yeah, goes all, back to all the of this, and, and I agree with your problem. I, I agree with everything you've, you've just said in theory. And the reason why we it's because he, he won't make up the shortfall in between because we mm. never, there's no, it, they tease that this, some of these characters, some of these people could be like us, sort of, but we never really get under their skin. So That's we just true. watch, we just watch it all happening. I think there's and a lot of focus movie on screen, Hiddleston's character too much. Yeah. And we and we still don't get under his skin either. You no, know they, they play on this stuff about him and his, him and his sister, but we never really un we never uncover it. We never uncover uncover really are anything about there? any of them. And that's why like we that, we remain like, spectators throughout the entire thing. Yeah. We never live the film. It is a very and passive experience. Yeah. Yes, and that's yeah. why it doesn't work. So everybody, the audience, is permanently at arm's distance. And because his story, because he's made it in such an unintelligible way, such an alienating way, that it's from both key points of, of, of pitching your film, of selling your film, and of telling your story, it just fails completely. Yeah. I think structure I'm right just saying that it was set in the 80s and it was an alternative 70s, 80s. late 70s. 70s. 70s, right? Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Wow. Yeah. And because uh, I am the target audience for this film. Absolutely. Margaret <laughs> Thatcher does our little speech right at the end about uh, what is Yeah, this? that was ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. That was just so on the nose. And I just thought that could have just been left. I out. know. Yeah. I was so on. See, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, look. I don't know really movies when they're done like this when they're done properly. For me, this this fell short. I mean, the second half of this movie, which we haven't even gotten into yet, which I know you will get into, Rabbi. It just descends into utter chaos. I mean, it's just soup, visual it, soup. But again, again, I, but I, I just assume that's what they wanted to do. No, and, and listen, listen, I, like, I hear you, Megan. Well, probably what? That they should that they shouldn't have been able to. But I still, again, as an experience, I enjoyed it. But uh, listen, I, I, I honestly, unless anybody's got something like, if I anybody mean, wants to talk 
the performances were really good, right? But you didn't care about any of the characters, and that's the main problem yeah, of this, no, right? I, I, if, again, if, again, this, was, if, this if, was not an emotive movie at all. Well, well it should have been because that's what movies is all about. Okay, okay, right, so look, look, there's a difference between making a film and making a movie. Right, Americans make movie. British people make up their own ass films. This is up your own ass film. But like, we don't this, care about this anyone. Is up your own ass film. I, I can't argue with you there. Yeah, we I, don't I'm, care about any of them. That's okay. the problem. But, but, okay, Maggie, it's clear. The panel mm. basically goes from hating it to uh, not minding. <laughs> right, that's basically what. Does let's go through the panel and see. I think we should just wrap it up. Let's go through each one of it. If <laughs> Let's add it. If not, I think this one is. I, I would still say, if you want an interesting experience, yes, I would check it out. I'll never forget it. <laughs> okay, listen, I'm glad I saw it. I, I would watch it. Again. I'm glad I saw it as well because I've, I have actually wanted to see this for some years. Yes, yeah, same, same. I have. And, and you know what? I would watch, watch this again because for me, I, I just enjoy a straight. Like, from re watching something like this is no different from re watching. I don't know. Um, if you watch the original Ju the Justice League and you just like jump to the good bit, <laughs> that's actually not bad. It's not a bad experience. Yeah, again, just as like an, an immersive experience. And it's very, noticed. very lots of interesting imagery. I would say fine. It's not, again, it's, a, I, it's not really a movie, but uh, I've I'm noticed. Like, I've it, noticed. I am a big heart of luck. I've, no. I've noticed you've got, a, you've got a tendency for. Um, Picking films which have a sort of very surrealist or, or dreamlike thing going yeah. on about, or in this case, a nightmarish thing. That's I quite agree. interesting. But I like those movies. But this one was just look at we have we have to bear the responsibility for this because Rabbi, in fairness, wanted to do Pacific Rim la uh, last week, <laughs> and we all in air wisdom. Oh, well, I've seen that. so <laughs> it's our fault. So like. You know, that's why I'm kicking myself. I wasted two okay, hours. You know what? What this thing. You all on video vault. If you don't like what I choose, I'm going to offer you something, but it might be a poison chalice. Uh, that's it. Ah, there you go. There. Yeah. If you say, I love this show. I love doing this show. <laughs> see, I'm this is a show. I'm telling you. What? What? One time. One time. We got these a uh, uh, jelly belly beans. Uh, this, and they, and the, uh, it was a game, and they could either be like a nice flavor or like nappy, like like soiled nappies or like chocolate cream. And you wouldn't know till you ate them. And when you ate it, it really tasted like the thing. And they had all the growth, so it was kind of a, it was a it was a, a, a jelly belly game. Like rebels. <laughs> so <laughs> that's what video vault's gonna be. If the battle steps out of line, although next week's movie is saying that. I think we're all going to be happy with. Mm -hmm. Anyway, no, do, 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 do you have any more, more anything else to say on this movie? <laughs> well, I guess, well, well, you know, I do. I just okay. seriously. It's, okay, like, fine. Maybe, maybe. Like what, what, stuff. What's your closing? You know, well, I just, I, I just like to say, right, that this is just a waste of everybody's money. I mean, look how many companies produced this film for. Right, you'd think that somebody read the script and go, "Wait, this doesn't work," or because, like, if you're reading something like this, five minutes in, five pages in, you're still bored. You know, the film's not going to work, right? Well, you know, and this script, is why I don't uh, understand. Five minutes in on the script, uh, 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 that that was right. That first twenty minutes, you think you? you I know. Again, I still want. I, I keep. No. I want to because I know. I just watched. I know. I enjoyed it. But well, that the first, first minutes, twelve minutes, nothing happened, the, and then twenty-five minutes in, nothing happened. I'm sorry, <laughs> right? But this film failed in all counts, right? The, 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 you had great actors, but you didn't care about any of them. That's the first sin of a movie. If you don't care about any of the characters, what's the point of watching it? That's and that's what carries and the even movie. even intrigue. There's a certain amount of intrigue with Lang. It goes absolutely nowhere. Nowhere to the point, yeah. to the point where you know after, uh, half an hour, forty that. minutes. That's so true. Oh, you're right. <laughs> it would make a great. Hey. It, would, it would make a great pop music video. <laughs> yeah. if he, gets laid, he gets laid quite a lot. So what the hell? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I, I mean, I, I will. I will say though. I mean. <laughs> I, I, I did enjoy it. I, I, I was kind of mesmerized, a bit like uh, Rabbi was by it. I, 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 I was kind of sat there in sort of disbelief at what I was seeing. Uh, and I think it became quite silly um, as it was going further along. And But I could, I could understand what it was trying to impart. I just thought, hmm, 
it's it's very grim it's very um a bit on the nose it it does suffer a hell of a lot of pretension um but the performances really sort of saw me through it and i was kind of mesmerized by by what i was seeing um it, it's an experience and i think you can either read the book or sit through a seven hour audio book version of it maybe if you want to get to the crux of the story but i mean for a couple of hours you can just watch this and you know, you know exactly what you're going to get from the minute you start watching it, uh, and it sort of does descend into sort of um, a bit Madness. of a mess. But it, it is it is a glorious kind of mess, I guess. But it's no, it's, it's not style over it's substance. Glorious, it's you know, not. It's color. absolute rubbish. I'm sorry, right? But yeah, you know, you can say all that stuff, but nobody went to see this in the cinema, and people that did I go to see it in the, the cinema, cinema be honest. exactly. And that's the whole point of cinema, right? You know, look, this industry forgets that we have an audience to please. Right, you right? know what? And right. they don't I want to go there. Cinema. You're right, I wouldn't. I didn't think of that. I, I wouldn't, wouldn't go and see it. Why would anyone go to see this film? <laughs> Why? I see, you know, I, I see the I wouldn't, film but as a piece, as a piece of work, just looking at it, I can let it wash over me and right. I get instantly where it's coming from. This is what it means. Between- the film industry and the American film industry, there are two pubs. Well, one is a British British pub and one's an American pub. They're across the road. You go to the British pub and you're right, and you go, can I have some beer? And they say, no, we've only got orange juice. And you go like, fuck off. And you go to the American <laughs> pub and you go, can I have some beer? And they go, what kind? See, that's the difference between the American industry and the, and the British yeah, film industry. Yeah, they yeah, make true. one that's type of movie. True. The Americans make shitloads of different movies. And, and the British people haven't caught up with, with uh, sequels or anything. They're, they think they're above the film industries in the world they're not they are not and this is the shit we get so there you go i'm very fair passionate point. about this I, I fair point. completely I agree with you really. yeah okay Sorry. okay so listen are, are we are we ready to put uh uh a high rise to bed you think shall we uh um... yes let's just bury it <laughs> <laughs> so so yeah I, I i get the vibe you would rather i i, I have an idea for a site a little bit more 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 populous for next week I had one, one idea of going to, and then when I saw really how quite quite how visceral everybody was was not happy, <laughs> I, uh, I, I I changed the thing else. But I have something. Did we get choices? Okay. No, no choices this time. I'm just telling you the movie. That's oh, yeah. Blue pill or red pill? <laughs> yeah. There we go. Oh god. Ah! Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, and I'm, I just... have. I'm uploading to this, this. This is the deal, though. I'm uploading to the server a unique cut of this movie. Uh, this is the, oh, wow. the rabbi it's cut. It's an Italian. Oh, uh, the no, cut. this is the rabbi cut. This is where I take all the bits of all the different versions I like and I put them together. And uh, <laughs> I've got the despecialized edition upstairs already. Oh, uh, yeah, well, that's the best. Of the original. Some of it's not, I like a lot of the uh, 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 the, the new stuff that's in it. Uh, the rabbi also, cut. It, the rabbi, it really is. Also, the the uh, uh, the lightsaber fight between uh, uh, Darth Vader and Obi Wan completely different, and I think pretty darn awesome. So oh, is that, uh, from that YouTube video for Sony Re- 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 basically, <laughs> right, like, yeah. in there. <laughs> it, it, and it's freaking it goes seamlessly. It's wonderful. So <laughs> oh, thank God for that. Theory. I thought you'd I thought you'd like film sequences yourself and whack them in there like no, <laughs> no. <laughs> empty toilet roll tube. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is, it, I basically I, I went through the different versions of Star Wars and they were to be with you. Oh, yeah. so I, I, I took out uh, uh, Jabba the Hutt because that didn't work. By the way, you know how they could have made that Jabba the Hutt scene work, right? The problem was, was it was Han Solo walks around Jabba the Hutt and he and because Jabba has a big tail, he, they, they couldn't do it. So Jabba would have like so they basically made him walk on the tail, right? Didn't really work at all. What they should have done is instead of having Jabba there, have a giant life-size uh, hologram of, uh, of, of Jabba. Jabba. Yeah. And then, mm. you know, Jabba, then he could have just walked through him and it would have been fine. If I had the technical know-how, I would so make, make, uh, make that version. Mm. Yeah. But, uh, so again, so this is it. So I went, this is the, 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 uh, the, rabbi, the, the rabbi cut. I'm going to upload it. For, uh, like, <laughs> can't wait. This <laughs> is so, good. Can't wait. <laughs> so, uh, so I, I, I only recently watched the despecialized version myself. I like, love this poster. I love it's great. This, poster. Yeah. this is the yeah. one. 
Yeah, out of all the posters, this is the poster that I love the most. It reminds me, it just reminds me as a, uh, when I was a kid and yeah. I was queuing up to see this film. Well, we saw it, the Ogin, right? Yeah, I think I've, got, I saw the Ogin. I've got yeah. the 3D poster of that. I think it's behind me, actually, oh, waiting to go. Oh, yeah. It was also, a rabbi was also shown at the Dominion as well. Oh, I remember it was shown both places, Dominion and and uh, that that other cinema. So yeah, it was crazy, crazy days. Uh, I, uh, I, I, it was one. I think of the year of Temple of Doom. That I saw every big movie that came out in Leicester Square. I was got I got into Leicester Square then. Yeah, that's when Leicester Square used to be Leicester Square, man. Here we are. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. Here we are. that is in three D, but you guys can't see that. But it is in three D. Uh, Amazing. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh. I mean, oh yeah. Oh, 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 hold it up again. You, you're filling up the screen now. Hold, hold, hold it up again, please. Wow. wow. That, that nice. Look at it. That is nice, Dan. That's cool. How much did that cost you, Dan? How much did that cost you? It the poster itself was around 15 quid, and the frame mm. was probably another seven or eight quid. Oh, wow. Oh, that, that is. Well, it works. That is nice. Really nice. My former partner made me take it off the wall. Divorce. You know, I think if I was doing marriage counselling at that point, I would say just, <laughs> it's, it's not, not going to work. It's not going to work <laughs> out. <laughs> <laughs> so there we are. There we are. Tonight, tonight's movie uh, 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 was not resoundingly loved by the panel. I think we can see me, uh, myself. And problem being, quite enjoyed it. Uh, everybody else. Absolutely hate it. You know what I would recommend? I would recommend checking it out for yourself. That's what I would do. I would check it out for yourself. Uh, Actually, and you, know, you Mom, hate what you do <laughs> not check this movie out. If you want to see a, movie, a proper art movie, go and watch Bronson or Clockwork. Or also. I love Bronson. Yeah. Oh, man. I was going to suggest Bronson at some point, but I was, I was worried it was too out there for you. See, I can Listen, never tell. I can never should, tell. You're getting you should it on now. You should put a uh, uh, Taking a Palom 1, 2, 3. Has anyone seen the Taking a Palom 1, 3, the original version? Yeah. yeah. Anyone? No. Anyone? That's a film you should see. It that, is fantastic. Is yeah. It's fantastic. Okay. I've seen the Denzel version. Oh, no, uh, you bought the, the John Travolta version's rubbish compared to the original. Really? Yeah, man. Yeah. All oh, right, because I actually like that bit movie. <laughs> <laughs> it was all right. Oh, all right, I'll check out the original. Thanks, man. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, I'm just put, put, putting up a poster front. When we're, we're not doing this movie next. However, this movie is saying that this is the, the most out there movie. That, that I mean, this really goes outside the remit of, of Video Vault, but I do enjoy what This is something I've rewatched many times. And I, I wonder if you guys have ever seen it. One second. Go on, then. It is. Uh, well, it's just a field jam movie. Have you guys ever seen this? No. I have it? got, I've got that, and I haven't seen it. It's doc, it's a documentary, isn't it, about it's the uh, how they awesome. tried to film Dune before? Oh. Yeah, no, it, it, it's free. It's uh, you know we we should do this for when, when the Dune movie comes out. What it is is it's a documentary about making this ver this version of Dune that never happened. However, okay. you they describe it so clearly, it, you 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 experience the movie in it. They had like Salvador Dali in it. And basically, all the uh, uh, the design work in movies we love, like Alien, uh, yeah. like came out of this movie. Like HR, it all came out of this movie that never happened. Uh, he worked on it, didn't he? Giga worked on it. Yeah, everybody worked. Like Morbius, everybody worked. You know, uh, worked on this movie. So okay, fine. So listen, you never know what you're gonna find in the video vault. So uh, let's. So I'm gonna uh, 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 wrap up. I'll say it is Friday. It is Friday. It is probably uh, in England about about five, uh, five to six. Um, there's lots happening on YouTube. I would go and check out everybody's channel. They are they are all in the uh, 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 the, the the video notes. I, I'm sure everybody has awesome stuff coming up over the weekend the weekend is your oyster on youtube and we, i hope you you suffer from it uh, very very fruitfully uh so i'm gonna say good night from me and good night from from uh from everyone in the panel uh, good night. and uh, thank you for, thank you for coming see you next week good night all. don't watch thank the film you. don't watch the film don't watch the film <laughs>